Topic helicopter rollover can be separated in two categories, static and dynamic rollover. We start with static rollover. Static rollover is just a fancy name for overbalancing. It can occur when a helicopter comes to rest on an excessively steep slope causing the center of gravity to fall outside the down slope, skid or wheel. The slope usually has to be quite steep, about 35 degrees, for this to happen. The exact angle will depend on aircraft design and loading. Dynamic rollover Dynamic rollover can occur when the rotor disc is tilted laterally causing the horizontal component of thrust to form a moment arm about the one of the skids. Normally the tilting moment is slight and is counterbalanced by a second restoring moment acting between aircraft's center of gravity and the lower skid. But if the tilting moment is sufficiently strong and is aided by a slope or bank angle which reduces the restoring moment then rollover can occur. If the tilt angle of the disc is small, then so too will be the horizontal component of thrust and the risk of dynamic rollover is very small. But as disc angle increases, so too will be the risk of a rollover. There will be a certain angle of bank beyond which the aircraft will fall over. This is known as the critical angle. Clearly. The most obvious cause of a tilted disc would be a helicopter standing on sloping ground, but it's not the only one. A skid stuck in mud can also induce the problem. Lateral rollover forces can also be generated if a skid is allowed to contact the ground while the aircraft is drifting sideways. In all cases the problem is the same. The aircraft has developed unstoppable angular momentum. It should be reasonably obvious that increasing collective pitch could make the problem worse. Greater thrust will result in greater horizontal component and thus a greater tilting moment. Factors influencing to dynamic rollover There are a number of factors which influence a helicopter's tendency to dynamic rollover. Slope. A helicopter standing on sloping ground will have a reduced restoring moment. Mass. A heavy aircraft will provide a greater restoring moment. Skid width. A wide skid arrangement gives a longer lever arm between the skid and the center of gravity of the helicopter. This provides a greater restoring moment for a given mass. Hub design. Rigid rotor heads can exert strong forces on the hub which increase the tilting moment. An articulated head with offset hinges produces a less powerful tilting moment. Rolling platform. For obvious reasons operating from the rolling deck of a ship in bad weather will increase the risk of a dynamic rollover. Recovery action You may not recognize the initial stages of dynamic rollover when you encounter it because the roll rate is very similar to typical roll rates encountered in flight. However, it is essential to recognize the symptoms early to prevent dynamic rollover from developing. Once it starts to gather momentum, there will be insufficient cyclic authority available to counteract the tilting moment. If you sense the aircraft starting to roll and you can't immediately correct it with the cyclic, you must immediately lower the collective lever positively but carefully. If you lower it too fast, the aircraft may bounce off the other skid and then roll the other way. Do not attempt to get airborne before the disc is level. Increasing the collective with a tilted disc will only make the situation worse. Yeah.